What's up, Headless Horde? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a little unboxing. Stick around for this one. Hello there. I am the king. Dracarys. <laughs> Alright, so today I received a package and we're going to check it out. It is from Mondo and like Mondo fashion. Yes, there it is. You gotta love to see this right there. Another high quality packaging job with their thin old boxes. I will never understand why Mondo doesn't pack these better. When I sent back my Skeletor and they resent me that one, um, what they ended up doing was they actually double boxed it. It was amazing. Like, how is that not more beneficial to them than sending them in these thin boxes and then people are just upset about it? So, whatever. It is what it is. We'll see what the box looks like when I pull this thing out. So, we have He-Man. So, I have Skeletor, Hordak, She-Ra, and now He-Man. And I'm done with Mondo. I got the four I wanted. So, um, I'm looking to see. Now, it looks like... It looks like the box might not be damaged. Let's open this thing up here. So, I'm looking at the back. Because that's where the damage on the box was. So, I definitely have a crease in the box. Right there. You can kind of you can kind of see it. Uh, I mean, not a huge deal, I guess. Um, there's no hole or anything, which is good. The front looks really good. Um, so if we open this up, they always have this little tissue paper in there. And you can see there's the box art. And then here's He-Man. It's himself. And then there's the front of the box art. So we're going to go ahead and pack this. We're going to open it up. We'll set it up. We'll see if we can't get a pose. I have everything unboxed for the sake of time for this video. I already put He-Man on the stand. I did swap out the fist so I can hold the weapons. And I also replaced the head mold. Um, but I will go through every single thing and then I'll kind of show you the final product here. Um, so let's start with the fists and the other options you have for the hand pieces. So. He-Man comes with the closed fists, and that is kind of common for Mondo figures. So I already took those out, and I put the fists in so that he can actually hold the weapon. Uh, the one thing I did notice about the fist that can hold the weapons is the weapon is meant to kind of be inserted into um, like an angle. And at first, I didn't really like that. Um, but as you, when, you, when I show you He-Man, you'll see it actually kind of makes it look better as far as holding the weapon. Um, on the She-Ra, it's literally up and down. Like you, and it's hard to actually like make it go up and down uh, with, the, with the wrist. So this one, they decided to make it where you insert the sword at an angle. And I do like it. The other set of fists, um, it's funny because to me they look like both right-handed. Um, so this one... Is he actually just pointing? So, I don't know. I mean, it looks kind of strange in the figure. Um, but, anyways, that's one option. And then the other option is, I guess, you know, this must have happened at some point in the series. But you can see, like, there's the insert peg. And it looks like it's almost like when he's coming forward as a punch, he's got, like, all this power behind it or something. Because, um, again, it does look like this should be a right hand. Um, I know it's hard to see in the camera, but it does form like a little bit of a fist here. So, I know, again, I know it's hard to see, but that's another option. I don't know if I like that. Um, and finger, I don't really like the admin either. But anyways, those are the fists. And then, like I said, it came with the ones that were open that I already inserted. Next, we have the Battle Axe. And I like the battle axe. I love the gold. So it looks really good. There's the, your handle. It's nice and long. And it has like a little 
spear at the end there, a little dagger type thing. So it looks good. And it's just plastic. Next is the power sword. Now I have the original power sword already inserted, but I do also have this one. It has a brown grip. It is like translucent, so you can't see through it. So there's the yellow one. I kind of like this one, to be honest with you. So there's that one. Um, now the figure came with these two wrist guards on. I've since removed them because when I put the other hands on, you have to make the decision. But it did come with this one on the right hand. So it's like gold. And then the other arm, so the left arm, came with this. So blue, and then this little bit of a gold on top there. So I dug a little deeper, and my idea was to create this figure as opposed to as close to the cartoon as I could. Um, so that's why I decided to slap on the red ones, the wrist guards. Again, when I show you the full figure, you'll, you'll see the whole thing, and you'll see all the pieces that I can get to show you. Um, the other things it came with were a couple different head molds. Now this is the head mold it came with on the figure. So I like how the eyebrows are up. So there's that one. Really, really nice details on the hair. And then you'll see the difference between the one I chose. Now, originally, I was going to pick this next one. I just did not like the way it looked on the figure, unfortunately. Because this is like the cartoon version. I, it, the hair is really, really yellow. Um, it's actually even more yellow in person than it is on the camera. I didn't love the face. Like, I don't know. There's something that it just doesn't look right on the figure. Um... So I was originally going to choose that, but I decided to go with the other one um, that I'll show you here. It also comes with this. Now this, I have no idea what this is. Um, so this is what it is. I, I, I don't really know what it is. Um, it doesn't seem to fit around his legs or arms. I don't think it goes around his neck. You know what? You know what it looks like to me? It looks like the old, like, cap gun armor you would throw this in the little chamber you know like it's like a, a, a six shooter basically and then it would, each of these would be caps that's kind of what it looks like um it's basically just a piece of molded plastic so if you know what this piece is having to do with he-man please let me know down in the comments because i really have no idea that's the one piece i i don't recognize at all next up we have a couple different um chest pieces that different figures came with uh, back in the 80s. So we have this one here. So it's pretty iconic, the red one. I don't love the back. I don't know. But there's that one. And you can see it there underneath. And then the other chest piece is um, the metal one. And if you remember, they had a battle damage Skeletor and a battle damage He-Man. And so what will happen is um, on this chest, you can see this little nod right here. That's a magnet. So what you can do is you can attach this. And now you are getting that battle damage look. So what used to happen is when you were uh, playing with the action figures, if this got hit, it would flip inside itself like inside the armor and then what would happen is it would, look, it would look like this and you can see the little scratches so that's why it was called battle damage he-man and battle damage skeletor so they give you basically these little magnets that you can pop on and off and do like that so i i like this i think it's pretty cool um i because i had both of those figures um so yeah, that's it's kind of a neat little addition here to the set. Um, we then have two different shields. So to go along with this armor, they also have the shield. 
so it's a little bit different. And you can see the reverse of it. So on the reverse, there's a nice big handle that he can grip, and then he puts his arm through here. It's a pretty big uh, gap, just because, I mean, his arm, like when I show you the figure, his arms are huge. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but then there's that one shield. And uh, yeah, everything else I already have on the figure. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring him onto the screen. So there he is. Now, the way I have it positioned, I have him kind of looking over the sword a little bit. I have it pointed out. So there's your power sword. And that gives you a nice big look at the uh, wristbands um, or the wrist guards that came um, on the side. So I decided to add that just because it matched the outfit and it's more from the cartoon. Uh, on the other side, we have the shield, which I love the shield. I think it looks great. Uh, it's a little weathered. The breads aren't quite as bright, uh, but it looks fantastic. Um, it's made a, it's really nice quality. Um, you can see that this is all fur here. The boots are fur. And then you also add the dagger on his leg. And then the dagger also will come out. <laughs> So there you can see his dagger, and the dagger does come out. And then you can see the the face that I chose. So it just looks better than the cartoon version. And then you can see the full He-Man figure right there. So I have him kind of uh, in a stance where it's like, bring it on, bro. You want some of this? Yeah. But yeah, anyways, overall, I mean... This is my fourth Mondo figure. Um, I definitely think it's the nicest one. I think it's the best looking one. Um, I think the grips are the best ones I have, I've seen. Uh, no problems at all putting the weapons in. Um, I mean, they're always a little tight. This one, I did not have to use a hair blower for it because you can, the fingers are flexible enough to move them. I don't know why on that Skeletor one that it was such a hard plastic that you literally could not bend the finger. You had to use a blow dryer on those. So, um, but yeah, I mean, this is um, it's pretty cool. So let me know in the comments below, uh, what other accessories would you equip on yours? Um, and then also let me know what you think of the figure overall. I would definitely give this a solid nine out of 10, where some of the other ones, you know, probably like more like a seven or six. she is really nice too. Uh, actually, I'll put both these guys together. Show you the finished product both. And yeah, thank you for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.